Hi, I'm Dave Connell from the San Antarctic Data Centre, otherwise known as the AADC, and I'm the resident metadata officer, primarily in charge of archiving and cataloguing the scientific data produced from our Antarctic research program. And I also act as the WDS representative for the data centre. So here's my lightning talk, giving you a quick rundown on some of the major issues or events going on in the AADC right now. First up, our website redesign. Currently, the AADC is in the process of finding a contractor to completely redesign the look and feel of our website to update it not only to a more modern aesthetic, but to improve the user experience of the site. We anticipate that once the contractor has been selected, the work should take anywhere from three to six months to complete. To prepare for the redesign, AADC developers have been tidying up the back end of the site and fixing or removing broken applications. Next is the move to cloud infrastructure. So over the last two years, the ADC has moved our data holdings into Amazon S3 storage. Owing to the increasing number of very large data sets, one terabyte or greater, archived in the AADC, we needed to find a way to better deliver these data to users, which was previously not possible using Australian Antarctic Division servers. Furthermore, the large amount of server space required to store these data sets on premises was becoming expensive and difficult to implement. The third point is that we've also had some staffing changes. The AADC has added several new staff members in recent months to bring our count up to 11. We've employed a business analyst who is currently working on the Digital Antarctica project for the Australian Antarctic Program Partnership. The project is creating a data model of Antarctic research data with the aim to bring all of it together in a findable and accessible way. And we've also recently employed two data officers who will spend most of their time at sea ensuring that the data streams from shipboard sensors are appropriately collected, organized and stored on disk and in databases, ensuring that appropriate quality assurance and control quality checks are performed on the data and assisting with transferring data from the vessel into AADC repositories. This next one is probably the most exciting development, the arrival of the RSV Noenia. For the last several years, the Australian Antarctic Division has been engaged in the process of designing and building a new state-of-the-art modern icebreaker to service our Antarctic program. The Noenia will also be a major science platform for our program and will be covered in a number of scientific instruments, many of which will be automatically collecting data, ranging from meteorological observations, atmospheric data, oceanographic information, acoustic data, and much, much more. The AADC data officers on board will collate and process these data in near real time for distribution to all interested parties. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, delivery of the ship has been delayed until 2021. Currently, it is in the Netherlands, undergoing the final stages of certifications. And finally, data and metadata processing. This core functionality of the AADC continues to carry on and at present our data catalogue is home to almost 3,000 metadata records and their accompanying data sets. To date, 1,600 data set DOIs have been minted and are available in data set citations from the metadata records. And that's it from me, so thanks for listening.